I'm really confused about it. Is, is, oh, okay. So yeah, we don't have anything like that. Turn it down, go. Get your ass down. Oh damn. Get your ass down, boy. Shut up. Shut hey, we're live. The music. What's all? Hello, Hello. Twitch people. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? What's all? Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy birthday, America. <gasps> Can't <laughs> spell freedom without America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh fuck. That's a fact you do. You go That's to jail. Facts. I just feel like this whole day just needs to not not happen anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's just not needed anymore. That's we not get it for you. You're fine. You got July second. <laughs> yeah, like, and that day didn't need to happen either. Especially <laughs> after you find like 300 dead kids in a hole. Yeah, like, right? you don't need need. That's not <laughs> celebrating that, dude. Josh, yeah. you moved you moved to Canada right before. It became the metal capital of yeah. the world. Now you just got burning churches everywhere. That's fucking <laughs> yeah. sick, dude. I know. God damn it. You, you, you brought the Satan. Good job. Oh, shit. Speaking of Satan, you guys see that giant hole in the Gulf of Mexico? That's sure going to have a, a hurricane. Sure going to grab Godzilla did. right out of Hollow Earth and just fling it into Florida. Dude, if a <laughs> hurricane <laughs> hit that. Oh, that fuck would... it. Where, oh. Is, where is it in the Gulf? I didn't, I I didn't even think about I that. I don't know. If it's near an oil area, it's got to be closer to my side of the Gulf. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. I just think it's like, it's fucking like a volcano. That's what it looks like. It's yeah. just yeah. bubbling death. It's literally just like, It, doesn't, it right doesn't look real. Uh, South yep. Park called it, right? That was, <laughs> yeah. They took Simpsons we, crown. We didn't listen. What's crazy is they called it the last time there was an oil spill in oh the Gulf. God. Yeah, it's just, it was the BP one. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's almost inevitable, though, honestly. Like, it's kind of going to happen. Because like, then no one pays for infrastructure, so they're just putting fucking PVC pipes down there. No wonder fucking shit's going to blow up. No one's paying for infrastructure, and a bunch of senators and legislators are going on fucking fancy dinner trips to Brett's goddamn uh, restaurant yeah. with Texan right. or Exxon fucking execs. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. You didn't know that? Well, yeah. Rex Tillerson's from, you know, he was the last guy in, in charge of that whole thing, right? He was... He's from uh, Texas, and he's Exxon's CEO. So I was like, of course they're all hanging out with each other now. Oh yeah, I was making oh. I, I was making up the the in Brett's restaurant. Thing, Dude, but we had. Uh, I mean, it. I believe it. <laughs> That's we, the thing. Our our big the the you know, we tend to have someone kind of decently sized in there for as far as popularity. Okay. Uh, we had the mayor of Miami in <laughs> the other day. Why? I Must have no idea. Joe Rogan. Did no, Joe he Rogan show up? He did not again. Oh no. He got shit. stuffed by Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yet again. Uh we I saw that Tra Yeah, I saw that Trey Parker from South Park is gonna be on Joe Rogan's thing, which I might actually have to watch that one. Oh. I'm gonna mute every time Joe speaks. But, say, you know. Yeah, give a shit yeah. what he says. It's just crazy that like a dude who like Hosted Fear Factor is now super popular. It just doesn't make fucking sense. It's because he joined just, the UFC world and now he's big. No one cares about that dumb sport either. I never did. I never. I never got into it. Know what I did get into? You fucking get into? music shows. Hey, music yeah, shows. everyone, welcome to the music show. Not the bitching about Fourth of July slash the hole in the earth slash Joe Rogan's dumb right. forehead. <laughs> My <laughs> name's Cody. I'm joined with, by always with Brett and Josh. Soft. They're the other ways. Right, we're um, this is the morning after music show where we go through all the plethora of news. Absolutely just a mountain of news this week. Um, and announcements and releases. And, um, the releases is a whole nothing. Uh, and then we're going <laughs> to be reviewing the new Born of Osiris album, Angel or Alien, that dropped on Friday. We Is got there? some thoughts. We've got some likes concerns i don't know and then after that we're going to be breaking down some breakdowns youtube i'm talking to you now you won't see that part but That's you right. could That's right. join us live at twitch.tv slash geek underscore republic on sundays That's right. um even hey, though in today. like in <laughs> in two weeks we'll we'll have like two weeks off maybe because of stuff be going one place and brett going to another place yeah 
That's Yay. right. And I, and I start working soon, too. So that's going to be another thing. Oh, we gotta God. Discuss. Oh, God. Oh, cool. <laughs> we didn't know. Didn't We're going to have to figure it all out. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Okay. You know, but rearranging you know, fun. Yeah. Listen, it's ever it's an ever evolving show. That's it that's is. our thing. Okay. Everything. Hey, it, 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 it have to be like water. You know. Mm -hmm. Bruce like Lee. Water that's on fire. Yeah, like water that's oh, on yeah. fire. Going back to that. <laughs> yeah. All coming together. I'm actually. <laughs> uh, I was telling Brett earlier. I'm surprised y'all just now saw it because I've been yeah, seeing it like fucking Wednesday or Thursday. Oh yeah, I've been looking at it for a while. I just haven't had a chance to bitch about it on camera yet. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. I, I, I just saw it last night for the first time. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, of course Texas is hiding it from y'all. Oh yeah. They don't they don't want oh, to let you know that I had to get precious it from oil. A, I got it from Al Alana who's I if correct me if I'm and wrong. And I'll show you. It's still in Australia. Yeah. Oh, in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh wow. Well. How many people were in attendance at the race today? 138,000? 130, yeah, 132, I think. Thousand. She can't leave, She can't come back to America from Australia because there's like 48 people sick in, in Perth? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's whatever. It is what um, it is. It is what it is. Uh, hey, let's get into some news. Let's do it. So is let's there news? do it. There is a um, little bit. Um. I mean, a mountain. I said a mountain earlier. I'm gonna. Go, I'm stick with a mountain. When I was when I was I, making the, the the Twitter post, I was like, God damn it! Which one of these bullshit news pieces do I put in for like on oh, today's show? Plus, like the, nothing is worthy. The only of. thing that I saw, um, yes, last night it was announced. I guess uh, Dirty Heads is putting out a greatest hits album. So their career is done. Yeah, and yeah, uh, guess guess who's uh, featured in one of the songs? Is, uh, Rome. Is, no. <laughs> no. Abba. No. Travis Parker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that. So you should have done that one. Travis Barker is oh. gentrifying pop punk. Ooh, I got something They're for the pop or punk. Though. I know. I, I actually have some news I just discovered this morning while I was oh. laying in bed watching TikTok. Oh, okay. <clears throat> View in bed watching TikTok. No way. Of course, it's what I do. It, hey, um, when you say the morning laying in bed, do you mean that like? four o'clock when you wake up or something like yeah I woke, I woke up at 6 12 today okay oh, late bloomer a little, little, little yeah, late wow. late um so so this so there's weird. a an artist i guess he's like one of part of that like lil huddy fucking olivia rodrigo group like children you know what i'm talking about the, sure the, the gen the new, Zers. the new the new rump nah, i'm pretty sure there might be gen alpha by this point oh that's right is that They're the next children. Gen Z are adults now. Hey, I don't like, fucking know what it is. The one right after it, then it's the the basically the Disney Channel kids, right? So they they're all hanging out with Travis Barker now, which is weird. But he's making all their music, right? Yeah. And there's a a new dude out. I guess he's 16 or whatever. Uh, pr got a song produced with uh Travis Barker, of course. But like they didn't even try hard this time. Like they legit was like, "What Blink 182 songs do you like?" Were they, were they trying then, hard the other times? Well, yeah, know, at, least, right. at least it was original music. This time it was like they just like played bullseye and was like, I like feeling this from that album. And I like fucking, you know, something from Enema of the State. And then they're just like, we're going to put these songs together and you're just going to kind of hum over it. And we'll, we can listen to one during yeah, the, the yeah, break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw it on the list. Okay. We'll and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's ridiculous. He's not even trying. He's like, I'm not going to make new music. You're just going to use my music again. That's what Travis said. So, right. so. I get double the royalties. Fuck you. <sighs> yeah, I'm add gonna, it to I'm the list. Be annoyed. I'm just going to be annoyed. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, well, I guess he's not a big ABBA fan. But <laughs> yeah. the reason I wanted to know if they were going to be on the Dirty Heads album, since it's a greatest hits album, Brett. Yes. Uh, ABBA's greatest hits album um, has become the first album to spend a thousand weeks on the uk albums chart a i'm thousand sorry, I'm weeks. sorry what a greatest <laughs> hits album a greatest hits album from i mean abba's great oh they mom, got my mom hits. loves abba yeah so what's a thousand divided by 52 that is a total of 19.2 years on the charts that album could almost drink. It's, it's, a gen, it's a not even an album. <laughs> it's a Gen Z album. That's a, that's a, that's the album of their generation, I'd say. Oh, God. Mamma Mia. 
That's probably why. Oh, oh, he's freezing. Oh man, we got things. No, All right. Everybody, everybody's okay. back. back. What? I'm he's back. freezing. You froze for like a, a second. Oh. Oh, like we're not. Eight, don't don't jinx it, bro. Don't jinx <laughs> that. Shit. Okay, we're trying to be good here. All right, sorry. So where, where were we at? Where were we at? Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about how uh, Josh, you know Abba. Swedish sensation. I fucking love ABBA. What are you talking about? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know that their greatest hits album become the first album to spend a thousand weeks on the UK albums chart. Like the greatest hit ones that came out like in 2006, like the ancient one, or like they put out another greatest hits. Well, it's no, from the, a the, thousand the, weeks ago, so. That, and and oh, by that my is calculation true. is uh, 19... 19.2 years then that that would probably is the same one that i had back in the day <laughs> it's the same exact one yeah okay <laughs> all right i mean God the swedes it. man the swedes i mean good for them dancing queen i say if it's okay. metal or if it's pop, mama, they mama just, mia they do it here we go again <laughs> yes. my mind my, my. Yeah. super super trooper where am i gonna find you in terrible english Okay. okay. All right. Well, moving on. <laughs> yeah, you moved past my Abba knowledge. I'm. I'm. I'm I know the. Transcendent. I know the two songs. Um. <laughs> but yeah, moving on. Mm. Okay. So, it, bitching yeah, about Travis Barker. Really yeah. 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 Um. And putting that and song he's everywhere. Yeah. 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 Do that. Do that. Okay. Um. Halsey, going a different approach. Oh, she her did, next she album. Did something with MGK. Did you know that? No. Oh, shit. I'm not. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is <laughs> her next album be produced by uh, Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross. I don't give a fuck if they, they give a shit about MGK. <laughs> Derail me like that, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I know they're like, uh, him and Travis are attached at the hip right now, right? You can't yeah, separate yeah. them if you tried. Right. But they are two different people. <laughs> Wait, so... <laughs> Oh three, fuck! Three, all oh, three of them have they have they have they had their their little love triangle? Yes, they have. Yeah. On that, is that real or is it, am I just making this up? No, no, it's true. On that last when they put MGK put out that dumbass album, um, that sounded just like Link One Eighty Two with Travis Barker. He played on every on every track. Yeah, they have a feature with Halsey. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, so that's when they they had their their little special yeah. time together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, she yeah. was like, I don't want to do pop punk. I'm gonna do Nine Inch Nails. So yeah, Trent Reznor she's, and Atticus. She's gonna do some some goth shit now, I guess. Dude, I, I'm I'm for it. I'm for it. Hey, listen, Halls, Halsey's music has potential, as shown by Bill Murray's cover with Tillian for Graveyard. Okay. Sure. Halls, I'm saying. Yeah, she Trent, she sounds, can... when she does it though, it's just so generic. But what's yeah. interesting though is her music yeah, started. But... <laughs> her music. Her music started like in that indie alt pop area before she became like oh, radio star ellie golding and all that shit yeah like way back like what was that like uh americana song that she has like that was like her start and she, it uh, didn't smoke sound... marijuana song that was yeah her. the one that uh smells like uh nirvana yeah, this yeah, is americana. yeah. that yeah, was, yeah, that's that was her yeah it was her so like oh, that was I different that song. Uh, yeah it sucked <laughs> i'm not <laughs> saying it was good but it was it's not the same shit that's like ariana grande on the radio you know yeah. like she's yeah. trying to do it's a little different. That's all I'll say. And I will say, I was forced to listen to her most recent album, the one with Graveyard on it. I think, uh, yeah. not bad. Not, you know, again, dumb pop. Not bad. Yeah, right, dumb pop. I don't know, man. <laughs> listen, she got popular. She did a song with BTS, and it was over with. Okay, then that's why she. Hey, I I only know her because of G E Z shit. <laughs> Ew. Oh right, yeah, that's true. I yeah. forgot about that. That's sleaze bag. That whole, that whole thing. But bitch, you got I never me liked fucked him. up. I never. I know. I, I, his, his hair was very greasy every time oh, I yeah. saw him. He, he just constantly looked slicked back and weird. He like looked moist. Greaser. Yeah. Constantly <laughs> moist. Yeah. Um. Oh my god. I don't have a good segue into the next one, but hey. <laughs> the show is fucking aces, bro. Hey, <laughs> it sure is. Oh man. Um. And there. Uh, I don't know. Fucking, there's gonna so, so there's gonna be a movie uh, that's being made uh, about Scott Weiland's life. It's a biopic uh, based off his uh, biography. Uh, the lead singer of Stone Temple Pilots, for those of you who don't know, he's dead now. Uh, called Paper Heart. It's starting production soon. You think uh, that's pretty mention cool. Velvet Revolver? 
I know. Like, they're going to talk about that? You I would, know? I would assume they would have to. Uh, you would assume so. But I would, you should also assume that I forgot Velvet Revolver was a thing to each other. Right. It, so, so, maybe they, know. so maybe the documentarians, they also <laughs> forgot. <Yeah. laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You mean worse? Guns and Roses? <laughs> yeah. I actually liked them better. Than Listen, Guns yeah, Roses. but what's weird though, that I was like. Too, but they're so. <laughs> oh, I get, yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> well, that was in his like very hardcore decline. Didn't you, you were going to go see them and he just didn't show up for the concert, right, Brett? Is yeah. that. Yeah, because he was oh, fucking really? on yeah. heroin and shit. Yeah. Like, he just, just decided. It's mom, just mom, like Axel. Mom, mom loved him. So, like, we're yeah. like, yeah, you know, let's go see him. Yeah, yeah, right. Guess he didn't show up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, I love I love STP. Um, yeah, I like Scott, STPs. Yeah. Uh, you know, Scott yeah, was yeah. a very, very good singer, and it's a real shame that he's no longer with us. Uh, I just hope it does it do uh, justice, you know. A lot of the times, yeah. these music movies. Oh, well, I hope stuck. it. Yeah, I hope they just don't go full Hollywood with it and just go completely off the rails of yeah, what a, reality it's bio, was. It's a biopic. They're going to have to do some drama, you know? Well, I mean, there is There's a, enough. There's I'd enough. argue in all of these That's movies, there's enough drama. There probably is. Yeah, you're right. Uh, <sighs> fucking rock star that did drugs. Like, <laughs> I know. It's like enough up. shit going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. No, come back. Come back, computer. No, oh, no. Okay. You don't leave. Um. Okay. Next. Or do leave and go download the new app made by one Jordan Rudis or whatever Rudis, from yeah. Dream Theater. Okay. Um, he launched a new app called Vithem uh, and Vithem Junior, which is a music visualization and audio visualizer app. Uh, to make your own music videos? No, like to make, you know, you're fucking used to watch real player and there was a sheep and a bunch of oh, visualizers yeah, you could yeah, go through. Yeah. We're, we're going back in time, guys. Okay. Cool. Yeah. But it's made by the guy play. from the, the keyboards from Dream Theater. Yeah. So, you the know, wizard. it'll be weird. <laughs> I feel like they're on an alternate timeline, like Dream Theater. They just like do things that are just so not like what music's supposed to be, but they get away with it. Oh, they yeah, do the whatever Dream they theory. want. They went to, yeah, they do whatever they, they, they want. At Berkeley. They can yeah, do whatever they want. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah, they're on the Berkeley timeline. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I thought it looked cool. Uh, there was a quick little video he posted. It was like 40 seconds. It wasn't worth like pulling up. But uh, it looks neat. Sounds cool. You know, it sounds more than just, uh, hey, the computer recognizes that the music got louder, so we're going to change it right now. You know, mm -hmm. actually like analyzing the music and altering how the visualizers were and you can like fully customize it and shit like that and make your own so cool i yeah, like them sounds, that sounds I, like I, I miss them <laughs> every time i listen to fucking i wish i could drive with spotify on instead of just staring at an album artwork or the dumb little video that sometimes play oh i hate that Vis visualizer yeah, yeah. yeah just give be... me a little visualizer yeah yeah why not what happened to those those are great that would be honestly like if it pop like the you know I got that CarPlay shit in the car. Oh, dude, dude so like, cool! If, yeah, if the screen just turned into a visual, that'd be sick. It'd probably well, wreck, but you know it's maybe we don't, you don't happy to it. It's not a it's not a video, <laughs> like. But you could get distracted. I say you get bored in, in, in traffic. <laughs> well, Sitting there's too many people anyway, so murdered by fucking Texans and their <laughs> giant trucks out. and Californians who don't know how to drive. Yeah, dude, uh, it, it'll either be the visualizers or Cthulhu coming up through that's the right. golf. So that's right. That's right. Um, Kill us all. Uh, running, running joke. Love yeah. it. <laughs> gonna, be here all, gonna be here all day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jokes. yeah if you thought that was the last one you're going to hear. That wrong. <laughs> Mistaken. <No. laughs> Just like if you thought that was the last time you would see an oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico in 2008, you were also wrong. I <laughs> uh, got him fucking. Hey, yeah. Hey. So hey. speaking speaking of dad, some one of my coworkers okay. he walked up to me the other day, oh, yeah. and he's like, he's like, hey, what the fuck? He's like, he's like, have you heard of a dib? Have, have you guys? Oh, heard of they, this? this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead oh, of going for, for a full dab, because I guess this hey. is lazy, and to say dab is lazy now i guess they do dibs where it's, it's yeah well i mean you can't see it but yeah josh there you go there's there's my there's my model a dib and a dab yeah <laughs> dib dab motherfucker so stupid <laughs> dib dab <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Um, You're fucking boomers now. I know. <laughs> Damn it. What a fucking die. Dude, it, it took us like two years to do it. <laughs> oh, fuck. We didn't mate. have to wait until our 50s. It's just, you hit late 20s, early 30s, done. <laughs> I just don't see what's wrong with dabbing. Oh, whatever. Exactly. That was, I was like, what's too, wrong with the dab? Too much like, arm work. You can't dab. fit it perfectly into your, you know, virtual screen. This is so easy. Oh, there you go. But when That's you're like this, was. you can't get the the hands part. So you don't know if you're doing Nazi salute or the dab. So. Yeah, yeah. Sure, <laughs> so I think Adam, this, this helps you stay, you know, non-controversial. See, the, every time I see someone do that, though, I'm like, necky symbol. Necky symbol. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm thinking James <laughs> Bond or our uh, fucking what's his face's character from uh, I Love You Man, um, Paul Rudd. And Paul Rudd, thank you, Ant Man. Yep. When yeah. he's doing the, they're doing the ads because uh, that's what he's yeah. doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He was doing a dip before anyone even Finger, thought of bang, the dad. Bang, 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 like... bang. bang. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, stupid. Shit. Okay. All right. Well, let's dip Next. dab into the last bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> there's there's a new book coming out. Is there? Uh, sh- showcasing uh, black metal's uh, history, oh. uh, in, in the occlusion of the radical, the queer, and the leftist communities with their writings and their artwork called Black Metal Rainbows. Um, uh, interesting. It's like 400, 400 pages. Uh, you know, but, and, and they specifically say in like the description, all stuff is like, "Hey, we know, black metal's got a bad rap. A lot of Nazis trying to take over this genre. Right, a lot right. of fuckheads and racists, and we don't want them here. We're trying to show that, hey, black metal is game. always, black metal has always been inclusive. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Yeah. Dip dab. I, I like always think it's pages to say that. No, yeah. I mean, no, to show it off. I mean, it's there's, artwork, there's other and shit, essays and shit. I, I think there's also like books about like um like punk rock and how that's me- was meant to be the you know this inclusive brand of music where you like nonconformists got to be something you know and then it yeah was like, that's it's in the name punk rock right r- right <laughs> and then then a bunch of neo nazis got a hold of it just like they they ruin everything mm-hmm. they ruin it all yeah, and then, yeah, then it gets yeah. a bad rap in in the normal world I forget who it was but when I was looking for news um someone from the old metal days I think it was. The old, the old singer from Judas Priest, not Rob Halford, but the other one, okay. um, Rip or Ripper, Ripper, somebody. Um, he was saying how it's real disappointing how conservative the old metal community has become. When at one point, like back in the eighties and and all that shit, it was like fuck that. Now hell no. It's because yeah, they and, all became and, their parents. Yeah. yeah, and that's what's really weird, and that's why they always say it's like, oh, you get more conservative as you grow up because they did. Mm-hmm. It's like, listen, motherfucker. No, you just got richer, so you want yeah, to hoard so, your money more. Yeah. Right, you became dicks. Like, how can you come yeah. from a hippie generation or like a, a stoner rock generation and then instantly become fucking that? Oh, it's like my fucking bizarre. grandparents love the Beatles and all that stuff. My dad loves the Beatles and all that stuff, and I'm like, hi, do you? Do you know what was going on during that time? Right. Do you look know what they like were? The Willie Nelson fans and shit. It's like, oh, I look know. at all the people who sing stupid. fucking Creedence Clearwater Revival, yeah. Fortunate <laughs> yeah. Son. Right. And they're like, yeah, yeah America. And I'm like, ah, oh, you guys just yeah. are so dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I saw, so I saw an old clip of um, this is the first time the Beatles met the Queen, and they, and they totally fucking ragged on her the entire time. It's like we're a bunch of poor kids from Liverpool. Like we don't want to hang out with royalty. Yeah. It's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I just thought it was like, yeah, you think they're awesome, and it's like whatever. But, now they're knighted and shit, but you know, because they're rich. But yeah, but you know what? <laughs> Even is, the Beatles is. had their own boomers, John. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking racist wife beater. <laughs> Anywho, Jesus uh, before we get into the oh, album. Man in question yes yes uh we got a couple of announcements um okay. just a couple 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 tours and a live show uh mashuga we all know him but innovators of uh yeah that, that one gently yeah, i'm doing the the bass bits um mm-hmm. they announced a 2022 goddamn how'd we get here uh north america tour with converge and torch so cool. that should be pretty rad. Okay. Um, actually, the, the lead singer of Torch has been in the tattoo studio a few times because he was friends with one of the old tattoo artists that worked there. Nice. That's pretty neat. Cool. That would be cool. Going on tour with Meshuggah? Hell yeah. 
Okay. Um, the Who. The Who? The Who. The Who. Um, the Who band. Not yeah. the Boomer ones. Yeah, the, uh, no, no, the... the <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The throat singing ones, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, Which is kind of going... cool the first time you hear it, but... <laughs> but... Not, not every Every song. song, yeah, you're right. <laughs> No, right. but some songs has Jacoby from Papa Roach. <laughs> so, you know, there's that. Hey, that one's got like 80 million views on YouTube. So. <laughs> sure does. Yeah, it's probably not because of Jacoby. Though. <laughs> oh, say. absolutely. Oh, 100%. Yeah, like the because most popular I, band in the, I remember the when we found that, the one with Jacoby outshines the uh, the normal one like oh, a really? lot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. yeah we well, could look, look up Papa the, Roach we, had that fucking reach. Dude, that star power in the Asian market. Disney should be it's, Disney it's should be Jacoby. contacting them. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're going on a fall tour this year, uh, uh North America with Hailstorm. Remember Hailstorm? Cool. Ninety eight rock. Yeah. yeah. This butt rock. <laughs> yeah. <is good>. yeah. <laughs> Stupid butt rock. Okay. And last but not least, uh, you remember Ghost Inside's triumphant sold out return show mm, a couple yes. of years ago? Yes. Uh, back in twenty nineteen. Right. Uh, they got a live album from that show coming out live uh, DVD. Nice. Uh, Rise okay. from the Ashes. That's uh, cool. That should be coming out at the end of the month on the 30th. So, cool. There yeah. is one more tour that is not on here that was announced. And what oh, that so. is? Amber Lynn. Oh. With the fuck? With the early November. Oh. Yeah. And they okay. will be they will be coming here. I didn't check the Florida dates, um, but they're here in September, I think. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. I should I That's should go. Cool. I, should I thought go they were that. done. I didn't know they were still doing stuff. Back, no, they got they got back together. Did you know? No one's ever really done. Yeah, did did the emo rock things. Yeah, I so said take five years off, realize that you can't get a normal job, and your career's yeah. over, and then come back. <laughs> actually, funny enough, uh, talking about bands that are never done, but actually are. Uh, I saw Alex Lifeson from Rush said, "No, we're, we're, that was our last tour. It ended. It ended just as well as we want it to. Like, there's there is no continuing Rush anymore without Neil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah it, it, How could you? Shocker. I know. What would they do? Yeah, yeah. Luke Holland. Like Rush. honestly, at this point, Luke yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, that, I'd, I'd be surprised if uh, Link Park ever says anything." They were True. supposed to, weren't yeah, they? Working on an album and well, shit. Mike's, Mike's, rev, you know, he's mentioned it a few times, but uh, yeah, yeah they I, always I have like special it. guests, or you know, Mike just sings now. Mm -hmm. They just should retire the name, take up another sure name. Yeah. No, just take up like name it Hybrid Theory or something like that. You can hire. Then, they can name it Zero again. They can name it Zero sure. again. Back in the day. Yeah, sure. I mean. And then just continue making music, but without the, uh, you know, overhang of the Lincoln Park monster. Yeah. Yeah. It is a monster. There's a big old catalog there. Uh, it's... One of two ways you can handle that. Yeah. But then you just go like full I... Elton John, never make new music again and just continuously just tour, tour on that. their old shit. Yeah. Dude, I liked yeah. that, uh, you know? that little Japanese kid that they had that sang for him when they did the, um, yeah, that big show for, you know, everyone came in. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, covers. the memorial show. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was that, good. Yeah, that show. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't remember what band he was from though. Yeah, even fucking like uh, M Shadows was on that, and he sang. Oh, dude, like you Jeremy, know, Jeremy was out so there. So many people. Ollie there's a dude from Some Forty One on there. Jeremy did place from my head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's epic as shit. Um, Lincoln Park. Yeah, what show? What song was it that that Japanese kid did? I'm I'm gonna find was out. Was it um? Was it faint? Um, no, because someone who did a, maybe because I or was that was that Ollie that did that one? Uh, someone did hard vocal on Faint, and I and it was epic as shit, and I can't remember. Yeah, exactly who it was. Because I I remember watching that kid, and like even Mike was like, while they're live, while he's playing, he's like looking and going like, yeah, oh okay, <laughs> oh it, oh is it Takahiro um, from One OK Rock? For somewhere I belong. Oh, oh, it might, it must have been that. That was it. That, was yeah, that makes sense. sense. That makes sense. Yep. Kind of put them on the map, I suppose. Doing a memorial he show. Did, he did good. I'm like, yeah. He did real I, good. I liked it. 
Yeah. All right. Well, is that all? Is that all the news? Yeah. That, that's all that's the all news. Let's. Hey, let's get into the fucking review show. Yes, dude. Ooh, ooh. Let's do it. Let's do um, it. Yeah. So. <laughs> This week it was Josh's pick. Uh, he picked the new Born of Osiris album, Angel or Alien, released this past Friday on the second. It is their yes. sixth studio album, uh, coming in at fourteen songs at fifty-five minutes and three seconds. Probably, I think our longest album. Yeah, it had four tracks. Yeah. It was pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was self-produced by Born of Osiris, uh, with mixing work done by Jeff Dune, who was uh recently mixed uh like the latest make them suffer tracks avail amaya crystal lake silent planet oh that's probably why it's kind of so yeah yeah, yeah. So that's so why you, it's so you solid said three bands i listen to a lot nowadays all so the I, fucking time right yeah uh-huh. uh and additional production and an engineer work by josh strock uh who has done composition and engineering work for a bunch of bands like ice nine kills crown the empire motionless and white and uh all that remains Sick. um Oh, there. So, I, I was just thinking about them the other day, actually. So it, this calling popped be, in my head. <laughs> yeah, nice. You know your your new homie, um, Young Gun. He's gonna um, take over for a night for the guitarist of All That Remains. Oh, really? really? Yeah. He on he was on stream talking about it and how he like hung out with those dudes and they were teaching him the tracks and he picked it up so quick he was like, actually, I'm gonna have to drop out of a show. And he was like, "Would you like to play?" And that's how said, that's how yes. Jared became <laughs> best friends with Matt. Yeah, and that's how Jared got to make music with Howard. Yeah, so good for him. God, that'd yep. be cool. Fucking cool, man. Jason, you should go listen to the album after this. It's it's gonna be ranked a little high, I believe. Well, yeah, I'll be, we'll be critical. Of, well, I'll be critical of it, but it yeah, is, we'll, we'll, I still, we'll there's, there's plenty to talk about on both ends. But I think overall, it was pretty positive at least from my end and we um, actually have one of the tracks on um the the list later we do the, op- the opener which is a very good yeah. opener i it fucking is. love it that. um, that was a perfect intro mm-hmm. to this album yeah uh so before we get into our thoughts about it just one last quick little fun fact they have already started writing a follow-up to this album that is due out as early as february of next year so they're taking all the stuff that they didn't make the cut for this one, fixing on it up. One. Likely. Yeah. Which, so I mean, double it's, album. It's basically. a storyline kind of like concept, concept mm-hmm. kind of album. So it makes sense. Um, but yeah, Josh, right. uh, it was your pick. So you start us off. Let's go. What do you all think right. about it? So I honestly don't ever want to listen to any old Lord of Osiris ever again. Oh, well, duh. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I wasn't a huge fan of them to begin with, but I really liked the, you know, the, some of the singles we listened to. Um, over the past few weeks and i was like this sounds so fucking different like they just decided to write good music and not just be edgy for the sake of it right like there well, was no moments they're not that, kids anymore right there was no moments that was just like yeah fucking bow down like there was none of those moments it was yeah. just like we're gonna make music now and i think that's why honestly if they were had any fucking lyrics like that in this album i wouldn't have scored their lyric section above a six and mm-hmm. i did i was like there's actually some decent lyrics in here it sounds pretty cool and and i think the concepts kind of pushed forward throughout each piece like it all kind of connected really well um so i really like that and of course their musicianship is just fucking they're so good like i think they're really tight um some things you really have to like the genre but overall i think they're technically you know solid some of the drum work was i still remember it (laughs) you know it's like i really like that part um nice and actually, you could hear the fucking keys this time. Can you hear yeah. me? Is it good? I stopped. Yeah, you're good. Okay, you're cool. Good. Um, I really like. Um, usually with the keyboard players, just there, kind of being stupid. But like, he was actually important on this most album. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot, really lot of par- a lot of parts oh, yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah, and he, they even did you know clean vocal stuff that's usually not around. Um, and the harmonies and stuff all kind of matched together really well. I overall, I really liked it. Um, I think the variety aspect of this it is just a metalcore album so there's nothing special about it and i think halfway through the album i definitely the first half i think is better than the second half um but the halfway through the album i think it's oathbreaker oh the really gentle one yeah um crossface i think it's called number eight yeah yeah Crossface. Uh, yeah, that's that, that, that's that i fucking skipped that yeah i was like this this is not what i want to hear when the rest of the songs don't sound like that <laughs> 
Like it didn't fit. Uh, I, I in feel there. that. I feel that. I didn't like that really gentiness, um, especially coming out of Love Story, which is a totally different track. Yeah. You, you know, um, and then memorability. I I did that a nine on my list. Really? Um, I'm I'm gonna remember it a lot because I think there's a lot of cool melodies that the the synth's doing that I really love synth like that, which didn't pull it into like this weird techie place, but still held on to its metal course place. Yeah, it provided but, atmosphere. Right. For yeah, right, right. It was a soundscape for the rest of the instrumentation to flourish. Exactly, exactly. They all had their places. It wasn't just there for shits and giggles, mm -hmm. and I liked that a lot. Um, and consistency, it's a metalcore album, so I say, yeah, it's consistent. Yeah, you know, it's, just, <laughs> it's just average. It's what it is. Like, yeah, it's cool to listen to. I will go out of my way to listen to this album. Wow. Um, okay. I like it, and I hate this band. Yeah, I, <laughs> so, like that's I, saying something. I, it's, I'm really surprised you're saying this stuff. It yeah. really doesn't remind me of them at all. Like we saw them live with uh, August Burns Red, and I was just like, "Can we get this fucking show on the road?" Like I was just did not give a shit. Everyone being meme and like, "Oh, we're Boo Crew and shit." I was like, "Are you fucking nerds? I don't like you guys <laughs> at all." But like, I really liked this album. It was really good. It's a complete total departure. Like I said, no meme content. There was no nothing there just because we wanted to be weird. It was just overall really strong writing. Um, okay. So adding all my numbers up, do you want me to give a number now or do you guys want to wait? Uh, uh, yeah, well, let's wait till uh, till we're okay. all done. Brett, you uh, you have the floor. My Brett turn? Simmons. Uh, tw uh, um, yes, hello, hello. Let's do it. Kill uh, it, Brett. So I'll quickly go through the, the bullet points. Uh, the lyrics, I, I know the lyrics are good. And from what I could hear, like, while I'm listening to the song and stuff, I know they're good. Um, his screams are probably some of the roughest screams, you know, that are out there. Uh, mm -hmm. So I really can't hear a lot of what sure. he's actually saying. So sure. I kind of, I didn't mark it. I didn't say it was bad or anything, but, you know, it, it wasn't as high as a score that it maybe could have gotten. Yeah, that was my low. That was my lowest as well. So um, I feel that. I also... I kind of combine the next two, the musicianship and uh, production of they're good. And like you said, we saw them like I, kn I know they can yeah. Lee, Lee can play those fucking parts. I, I know that I know right. they could all do that. It is so pretty like this is to me. This is on the border of overproduced. You know, like this is like you're, you're they're there. Yeah, they're there. There, was, I almost said like, "There's a attack attack in here." <laughs> like, I, <laughs> like there's parts of me. I texted, I texted uh, uh, Cody, and I was like, "This is just fucking Phineas and all those uh, 2003 MTV commercials I know. for the ringtones." Like, <laughs> I, I like how you said it was like right on the the cusp of being overproduced because I felt like it was like there's sometimes it didn't need to be like that. Exactly. Um, exactly. That's why I was saying too. I was like, "There's just there's yeah. moments where it's like it's like you don't need to go full robot with this, dude." Right. But like, I think it would have sounded fine. But with the variety with the the synth, I think it kind of pushed me over just a I, little more. I actually put I variety was my lowest one. I put a six for that. Okay. Um, and okay. I I was telling Cody I was gonna actually give it a five, uh, because you heard if you heard one of these songs, you've heard the entire album. Realistically. Okay. okay. I know. I of course you know there's differences here and there you know throughout the songs and stuff, but like you you, you get the idea. If you've listened to just one song of what this entire album is. And I gave it a six because there's that saxophone part in the beginning and the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was like, all right, that's cool. Um, they're consistent as fuck. Cause like I said, it's from Metal beginning fuck. to end. It is just, you know, it's metal. Yeah. Um, I, and I, for the memorabilia, I'm honestly, I, I already kind of like, I didn't forget what the album is or anything, but like, I can't tell you songs per se. You know, I, I can't mm. remember every single one of them. I've listened to it about three or four times now. Um, and it just, nothing's really sticking out to me. Mm. You know, it just kind of seems okay. like an overall, like, metal. And I like okay. it. And I did, like, I didn't score this bad at all. Um, the overall score. It's just, like, those are my kind of nitpicky things. And, like, you know, with the production, like, I was, I kind of mentioned to uh, Cody earlier of, like, you know, I, I'm going to use Air as, a, as an example. Like, I also, you know, we, I think those guys actually played that same show. Yeah, they did. Um, they're just as technical. Like, those guys are, you know, he's playing just as much. And he's singing while he's doing that shit. You know, and... But when you're listening to it on, on, the, on the CD or something, 
I can I can hear and I can tell that someone is actually playing those parts. You know, on this, this is where it was like it was super borderline of like, yeah, I know I know Lee could play these, but like, God, man, like that is, if I didn't see you guys live, and I didn't know who you guys were, like I would have been guessing this a little bit. You know, on like on the you know doing the event some full thing where I'm actually going to just hit three notes and then push pause on the recording, hit another three notes, and then just yeah. put it together and there's sure. a guitar solo. Right. Like, uh, what, what tracks did you feel like kind of felt like that the most for you? Uh, honestly, I feel like it. I, felt, I like, would I would say the second half of the album started pushing more to that. Like that's the oh that's, yeah the second half for sure. Yeah, more or less memorable for me. I think the beginning, oh, maybe because we listened to some of them already. Um, and it kind of, I'm kind of biased on that, but yeah, I felt like the beginning of the album, the first seven, and then this was stronger than the second seven. Well, I also, I, I think that as well, because the second half is a lot, is very similar to the first half. So by the time you're getting to it, you're like, I've already listened to 30 minutes of this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just the same thing that's going to keep going. So like, okay, that's where I'm like, I, I, you know, I start to forget what song is what, um, it's, there's not a lot of variety there. Sure. Um, but it's still like, it's good. It's good. It's good metal. And it's, I, I do like it. Uh, but it's just not quite as much as I would have liked overall. Fair. Fair. Okay. Yes. Fair. Fair. Um, so for me, um, I, I, I mirror kind of like a lot of the same things that both of you are saying. Um, and in fact, listening to when we were talking before we got on, listen to Brett's, you know, thing about the production being just a little bit too much, uh, did, did drop down my score. I, I mean, I, I had it at a 10 originally, um, cause like this, this, the whole album sounds fucking oh, it's, it's massive. Sound, it sounds amazing. Yeah. It sounds yeah. amazing. Especially coming out of the, the good speakers. Holy mm-hmm. shit. Right. Like every song kicks you right in the fucking teeth. Uh, like they even pan pretty I, well on some of those parts. Like it is cool. Oh, it is very cool. It's yeah. really good. But Brett b- b- brought it up, and I was sitting there thinking, I'm like, okay, at one point does an album sound so produced that it starts to deter from itself? You know, like what would be? Because the perfect album, a perfect ten, would be an album that sounds just as good, but doesn't do what you were just saying. Doesn't have that overproduced feel or quality to it, and all that stuff. So that did make me bring that down a little bit. Um, as far as like variety and all that stuff, yeah, it is a, a lot of it is very samey, but I'm gonna reverse nitpick and focus on the stuff that was like a little different between each track. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a lot of new metal influences in here, a lot of in flames. Um uh, let, let's see, I'm just looking at Oh god, what was that song? Um, it's- it was it's just sleepwalking it's the chorus for uh, that was uh oathbreaker i believe or was, was it, it was crossface it? no i think it was oathbreaker actually yeah crossface yeah. is too gentle to cr- yeah crossface is the gentle yeah. one yeah. i liked i liked there was creepy corn leads in uh crossface and uh that breakdown in the uh t- 2011 metal outro <laughs> with just the synths going i i, I really <laughs> like that yeah, like I felt um, so much attack attack, like old school. I, yeah. I also got I would say Breathe Carolina more. I, than attack, okay. attack. I was thinking okay. Memphis Me Fire. Well that that's you know, it. They okay. had a lot of that ding 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 like weird uh synthy shit going on in the background. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, there's a lot of really catchy bits. There's a lot of cool synth sounds in this whole thing. Um that that bridge in uh Echo Breather is filthy. It's like filthy air or dirty air. <laughs> dirty air. Um, <laughs> dirty. <laughs> there's the the pre-chorus for Lost Souls again, new metal influence, but very proggy, in the same uh-huh. way. Uh huh. Um, you are the narrative has like a Midian era Cradle of Filth pre-chorus, and then that the second time the chorus comes around and he does like the high screams. That's another. That's a Danny scream right there. So like, there are, you know. They're kind of all, they're a little all over the place. Yeah. Um, their influences but, were obvious for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sure. I do agree. Like you heard, you heard one song. You heard most of the songs. Right. I, um, I, I agree. I don't think it needed fourteen tracks. No. <laughs> it no, was it, it feeling a little long. Didn't need to be yeah. that long. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. We could we could have shaved it off and thrown it on the next album. Mm-hmm. Sure. Fine. Yeah. Or a B side um, or something else. Yeah. 
and talking about their maturity, uh, they've shown that they can write catchy hooks and choruses and stuff, but without sounding like Beartooth. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Not jumping into butt rock territory? No, God, no. You're never right, going to see this right. at a fucking butt rock festival. No way. No. Um, overall, like, uh, I, I, you know, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, I was actually kind of a little blown away by how much I did like it because... Again, I mentioned it last week in passing, like previous Born of Osiris albums have been like, oh, yeah. Exactly. Did, did, yeah. I had a vague idea that this was going to be like this just because of that. The, the last album was not exactly like this, but it was it was, it was close. You know, you, mm. can, you can you can tell that this was the direction that they're going. Um, I, I just feel like with this band, it's like <laughs> they're such a meme. Like they're just like that band in the scene that's just like you guys don't really need to be a thing but you are maybe that's just me <laughs> you know and then the they put out of, of the metalcore yeah <laughs> and then they, they put out an album like this and i'm like this should i shouldn't like it you know like i shouldn't uh, I just, like be... that's what i saw in cody is like i'm i'm curious to see what you think yeah i shouldn't like it but there's something in there that i'm just like shit's catchy as yeah. fuck there's a lot of catchiness in this there's shit. a lot of catchiness yeah in and of course, yeah. the sax solos at the end of the first and last songs. Right. Um, oh, the last song, the last song's like intro with the like kind of the horn section and all that stuff reminded me a lot of like album closers from Shikari. Oh, and yeah. All okay. that stuff. yeah. They like to do those big, like grand sounding out like last songs on the album. Um, it reminded me of that. Um, but I mean, yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much it. Um, before we get into our scores, um, a couple of things from around the, the net. Kerrang gave it a seven out of ten. Did they? Um, well, it's a three out of five. So I. Just, oh, okay. You know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, New Noise yeah. Magazine gave it a ten out of ten. A ten um, out of ten. A ten out no, of ten. Five out of five, but you know, again, yeah, but still, it's I, a perfect score. Any, any, any of the scores that I, I give, I just rounded. It's not. A, it's I not made perfect. it to the ten. It's not perfect. No, it's by not. Any means. I would, that's. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised so by that. It's a little. <laughs> um, it's a little much. It's a li yeah all music gave it an eight out of ten um distorted sound mag gave it an eight out of ten okay some some of these websites i find i just look for the ones that have numbers on it i get six of them that's good enough for me <laughs> sure. uh, metal wani uh gave it a nine out of ten <laughs> yeah you heard right metal, metal wani wani w-a-n-i okay uh, nine out of ten, and then Rock and Load magazine gave it a uh, nine out of ten as well, right. bringing the average for the net to eight point five. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I didn't go. Um, I didn't go that high. All right. Well, Josh, what'd you give it? Seven point eight three. Ooh, really? Seven point eight yep. three. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah right. I didn't. I didn't dip into any sixes, so that's probably why it's a little high. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Brett, um four and a half. <laughs> they might mine averaged right at uh eight eight out of ten oh, okay yeah i did so, give it a six but um but you gave it a higher score somewhere else uh i gave it for, you know i still gave production and music musicianship uh, uh i think i gave them nines um okay like i said like i know they can do it right I know, yeah I, right. I know it's good i it's you know if i didn't know who they were that probably would have been lower um, but I know, I know they can do those things. Yeah. Uh, mine ended up being, I'm, I'm always the most positive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 8.6. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought again, like Brett was saying, musicianship, I gave that a 10. Like I, I again, I know they can play it and I get the overproduced arguments, but man, some yeah. of the part, some of the little fills that the drum was doing, yeah. you know, the solos sounded really, the, the, the keys, like everything just sounded really good. Right. I, Honestly, I agree with Brett. Par from his screams were a bit rough, but like, yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Uh, so that gives us an average of eight point one four, which means oh, the wow. other notes. Uh, let's see, where does that third, fit third on the place. list? Third, third place. place behind Rise Against and above Gorgira. Wait, wait, wait. eight point one four, right? Yeah, eight point one four. Second so place. Second place. Yeah, second place. I don't. Ma John, oh yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I said eight point three for some reason. Uh, <laughs> I skipped. I skipped a zero. You, you dyslexia. Uh, yeah, yeah. I flipped around. <laughs> uh, eight point one four. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm fine with that. 
not Uncle better Death. than Brain Pain, and that's what I was worried about. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna get over that. I like that album. It's too catchy, too fun. Yeah, to get beaten by uh, something that's so like yeah, yeah. It, I feel like if you had a pop punk album, that's always gonna be above a metal album, unless you like really love the metal band, <laughs> right? Uh, so I, I could think of a few. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like you, people want to listen to Happy more than they want to get their face ripped off. But that's just maybe that's just me. It's, uh, it, it's just you. It's just okay. You. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I, I I like being miserable. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Commiserate. Yeah. Do the thing. Uh, here, I'm Josh. I, that's I love all hating. That you added. Yeah. I'm gonna put it at the end. Okay. Um. Um. And yeah, okay. Well, then yeah, that's where it sits. It sits at number it. two. Um. I, I'm number I'm two. fine with that. I yeah, I agree. It's good. We we're all cl- close all within a little bit of each other mm-hmm. yeah i think i think we're right on it's always interesting to see what um what our scores match yeah. up with the uh the professionals yeah um, and we're all we, we've, we've been kind of on the money since i started pay, paying attention to that i mean i feel like I'll, Brett, you're I'll, usually I'll, right spot on oh, and I, <laughs> yeah i i feel like i'll never give something a 10 though like it, oh, it man, has to be a like, perfect I don't know. Yeah. Like I, I feel like when I look at the the grading scale, it's like you really got to be good at 10. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to so earn I, it. Yeah, so I I hardly ever get close. I did get a 9 on musicianship cuz I've seen them live and I know they can play. That's it, why it, I gave it to yeah, them. Exactly. Like if if I'd never saw them, then I'd be like there's no way they're playing any of this shit. That that was and, <laughs> that was my point so, on the production so, as well. It's like Right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are you guys are you really, really got to see them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. You say that there's no album out there that's a perfect 10 but let me float this past you two boys what about afterburner by tdg that's pretty close that'd be that'd be up there it's all right that'd it be up be there a 10. It not be for me home. no i mean uh, okay. i don't i'm, I'm not a super diehard dance gavin dance guy so i probably wouldn't oh are you not i like him but i nah, yeah not. i listen to him more than he does oh yeah they're just not Brett's there for the me guy. yeah yeah Mm, I see. Jen, Jen likes him more than I do. Um, and she, doesn't, she doesn't even like heavy shit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's like, "Bullet for my Valentine's." It. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dream of, of a flying V is still alive. <laughs> yep. uh, all right, so Let's do this next shit. week. Next week, um, I have, I have a few. I'm still at to this point not entirely sure what what album I want to do. Okay. Um, it's between the new spill canvas that came out this year. Oh yeah, change up, change of pace. It's between the new f- free throw album that came out a couple weeks ago. If we listen to like all their songs, at this we point. listen to th- we listen to three of them. I, I say it every time. Right now. <laughs> um, all... or <clears throat> the Avatar album that came out last year, Hunter Gatherer. I think I'm gonna go f- with free throw. Uh, okay, fair enough. I'm gonna well, go with free throw. I want I want to switch it up. Do a little, little Midwest, you know. Yeah, do a little. Uh, little piecing it together this. by free throw as the album for next week. There we go. Okay. The lead Basically, singer has a Pokeball listen. tattoo on his wrist. There we go. Wikipedia made sure to let me know that. I mean, I do. I do like them. They they they're a good, good listen. Yeah. Just depends on how mellow some of their songs get. Whether it's not it's the perfect driving record, Brett, for you. Yeah, so it's. We're going to see what my mood is in before I listen to it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That'll probably determine a lot. Yeah. Um, All right. That, that, does it. Good. that does it for this portion, YouTube. That's where we cut away from you. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Watch the other videos. Brett put out his own goddamn content this week. What? It was really good. Yeah, it's real yeah. funny. It's about cars and memes. And Lots if you follow us on social important. media, if you follow us on social media, you would have seen it. Bitches. Yeah. 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 Right. You heard so that? The next episode might be even more Mimi. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Can I'm it, can do it, it waifu? Can it waifu, bro? Can it waifu? Oh, this this truck's gonna waifu. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, brother. Hell. Um, <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe. Come watch us live on Twitch when we do this, and then you can hang around right now, but later, because you know you're watching this in in the future, but it will be the past uh, time. Um. Oh, uh, yeah. Where we're going to go through a whole fucking list of songs to listen to and uh, put them on a playlist or not. 
because you know because sometimes yeah, we like get, them yeah we, suck. They, get voted we, in we, we vote yeah, yeah. It, yeah it, that's how democracy happy america day that's right um youtube goodbye bye bye Anyway, hey, Twitch, now that those losers are gone. Yeah. What up, dogs? Solid. <laughs>